You got anything else you want me to take out? No. You're almost done? Almost. Okay, then breakfast and we're out of here? Yes. Alright. So, it is the morning of day 73, and before we do our little intro, we have run into a problem. So, right now, the coupling between the Sword Squeeze and our new platypus keeps having, uh, I want to say holes or, or something along those lines where water starts to drip out. And that's a problem because we can't really waste water right now. We took this water from last night about three miles behind us and we have another nine miles till the next water source so we've come to the conclusion that as long as air is still escaping from this there is no way that we can both get enough water out of this to walk nine miles and not have problems with it so we have come to the con con we have come to the conclusion that we're gonna have to just pour it in straight directly into the bottles, which and, is... And the issue is that there is a little bit of soot at the bottom of here. And, and so. it's not only that, the kind of water filter just generally filters it and it's not ideal, but we also don't really have a choice at this point. We have gotten a uh, bought mom bought a Sinoc about a few days ago, or sorry, Sunshine bought a Sinoc, um yesterday, and she is bringing it back when she comes back on trail. But for right now, we are just going to have to deal with it and just put un un unfiltered water into this. It's okay. It's, it's, it came from a good source. It looks okay. It looks okay. It doesn't... It, it, it was. If you were watching yesterday's video, it's where we actually stopped to get water at the end of the day. It was flowing. It was okay. But I'm also slightly worried about just like general contaminants in it. Who knows? And water is still leaking out, damn it. <laughs> Welcome to day 74. I'm Captain. And I'm Will. And we're still walking. And we're really just kind of talking it's it's really funny because this morning largo sorry captain let me sleep in because i was just mashed potatoes and it is now 8 8 20 we're getting a super late start today and it is right now 75 degrees it's supposed to go up to like 100 degrees with the with the heat index that's crazy so there's no idea of where we're going where we're stopping i just know that the whole idea that we had when, we, when I jumped on the trail was doing 25 a days. That's not happening. That's right. We have an option at 16 and 19 miles, but that all depends on how fast we get water. We've got about 10 miles in between us and the first water source. And so far we've got a liter and a half between us, or no, a liter and a half combined. Um, and, or no, a liter and a half individually. Yes. And so right now it is going to be a test of how fast we can get to the water before it gets above 80. It's gonna be a tough day. We've got a first little up and then a down after that. Yeah, but we're not other gonna be recording that, a lot between now and the water because we have to sort of just get there before it gets too darn hot. Exactly. We're under a little bit of shade right now, but I can see the sun rising. So with that, let's get going. This is what morning looks like. Going all the way up hill. We've now been about 30 minutes into this and we've gone about 0.8 miles. And we've gone so far about, about 600 feet in elevation, which for fresh legs should be fine. But man, it's hot. It's already 80 degrees and climbing so this day is going to be all about survival oh my gosh Th where we're heading to right now actually <coughs> at the top is where we we're planning on sleeping last night 
but I will tell you this, if we would actually gone this far last night at the very top, there would have been a helicopter waiting for me. So all that being said, I'm glad we stopped where we stopped last night, but it is nice. Happy to be here. Even though my, my winded breath doesn't show it, still happy to be here. Ladies and gentlemen, I feel like Robert Irwin. There's a snake on the trail, again. Going into a, a hole. I tapped that and it didn't move. Keep going, keep going. I'm keep gonna wait until there. it goes through. Holy, that's Wow, great. look at that. Wow. I'm so glad you noticed it. I would have walked right by it. This I would, is... I, I would thought it was like a, a twig. This is our third snake sighting. And we've had two in the past two days. Look at that. Shoo. Sure. <laughs> you right. giddy giddy giddy. There you go, I think it's moving. <laughs> wow. That was interesting. I'm glad you're in front. No kidding. I'm bait at this point. <laughs> And Largo has just seen something else on the trail. Do you hear that? You might not be able to hear that, but it sounds like just like cicadas or something, doesn't it? Yeah. Well, I present to you snake number three. Where? Yeah. I probably well, shouldn't. I, hear that. Oh. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be getting this close. Literally. Oh, there it is. Is that it? I think that's it. Might be it. Hold on. I don't know. Oh wait. Right, there it is, right there. Uh, uh, there it goes. Oh. Third snake of the day. What do we think? I'm a little freaked out. No kidding. This is the most amount of snakes we've seen on oh the trail gosh. in a while. Wow. What an introduction to the trail. Over the valley. Felt you in the breeze Follow the calling Brought me to my knees Over the forest Felt you in the pine All right, we just made it to the top of Bluff Mountain. 30, 300 feet. It's 10.50 in the morning, it is 87 degrees, and we've gone a little over four miles so far today. Our swiftest day, but there's a breeze up here, so I'm gonna soak this in just a little bit. Uh, it's quite nice. Someone left something behind. <laughs> a little bit of a, if you wanted to celebrate, I don't know, I don't know if I'd trust it, but it's there. Whew. Feel that breeze. It's quite nice. All right, so Largo is still going on without me. Um, so I need to, I need to make magic happen by catching up to him. He's a fast hiker. I mean, he's 16. Oh wait, he's right there. Largo, you were sitting there waiting for me in the shade. All right. We shall continue. How long have you been waiting? Two minutes. I'm not that far behind. There's one thing I've realized hiking on this trail, and granted I've only been here for like, I don't know, 36 hours, but this is rough. Dude, you don't come here thinking it's gonna be fun like a vlog, and it's gonna be magic and beauty and everything else, which it is, but you're gonna, you're gonna find out who you really are in here. Especially when, you know, you're pr probably not prepared. And if you are prepared, you're still not prepared. Um, I've ran many marathons, and I have like to think I've always been in some type of shape. But honest to God, this thing just, it kicks you and tells you who's boss right away. But that just goes to show you though, that, you know, it, it kind of like is one of the things where it takes you down to your core who you are. And if you're a happy person, you're gonna be happy no matter what. And if you're, if you're like, ugh, 
you're just gonna be miserable the entire time. Sunshine is probably the happiest person I know. And she can find happiness in just about anything. And she's awesome. And for that, I, I love her dealer. But looking at this and wanting to go ahead and document the adventure, you can either say how much it stinks and how much the struggle is, or you can just find the positive aspects in life and focus on that. Now, I must admit yesterday, I wasn't exactly Mr. Optimism the entire way, focusing more on the stats than where I was at. But today I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, I'm still, you know, higher legs take a long time to come, so I'm not there exactly, but I hurt less. And that's, that's a good thing. Plus, even though it's hot, there's like a little breeze here. And it's, boy, the difference between yesterday with no breeze and today with a breeze, it's quite nice. I'm hoping breeze brings clouds and a little bit of rain because that'd be nice too. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, we're just, we're just here. And I mean, it's almost like, like you have to go ahead and figure out what type of person you want to be. You know, you don't, I mean, happiness comes from knowing who you are inside and what, knowing what you want to be inside and sort of executing on that. And it's also like that whole happiness equation, which is expectations, less reality, equal happiness. Well, this morning, my expectations weren't very high. Yesterday, my, my expectations were really high and it didn't show, show up that well. So I think I'm winning today. How do you guys figure out happiness? Because I'm really curious. I need sometimes to dig deep and find how to get there when things aren't exactly going perfect. Keep me close when you're on the open road. Find the light when darkness grows. I will always love you. Over the mountain Deeper than belief Tearing down the border Leading you to me And here is the road. After so many miles down, there's something waiting for us over there. Call it trail magic, call it trail luck. We have water. We have water. Oh my gosh, on the hottest day ever again. No kidding. I think we're calling every day at this point the hottest day ever. It's the hottest day until the next day comes and then that's the hottest day. I feel like every day is just topped for heat. When is it gonna start getting like, oh, this is the coldest day we've had in a week? <laughs> I think I gotta wait till like September for that. Th that'll be that'll be when you leave. You know, I wanted to you to put I wanted to put you through the three hottest days so that you knew, really knew what what the, what the trail was that, like. That yeah, is. I know. In the meantime, we have water, which is a good thing because how much, how much water do you have left? Um, like half a bottle. Ooh, less. Less than that. Like a third of a bottle. We didn't. It, it's not like we didn't prepare. We brought a all we full can bag, a, a full all we could carry of water from last night, the last water source. It's just super scarce. I would honestly recommend in the next kind of, or in this section from like maybe 650 miles till now bring an extra liter of water just because it's extra weight but you're gonna want it and here we go oh. 800 oh my gosh 800 miles of which i've walked all of them. <laughs> you you walked 800 miles, damn it. I have not walked 800 miles, but someone has, and that's you. Wow. I guess mom officially will not have hit the 800 mile mark until she comes back and does this part. I wonder, can she technically hit 900, 1,000, and then so on if she hasn't hit 100 or 800? She still walks 800 miles. She just hasn't made it to this mark yet. I mean, all I'm saying is you have to go past 800 to get to 900. Let's so stop can she technically her. say? Stop it. She's doing just fine. Oh my gosh, look how cute. 
There's the AT symbol in the middle of the zero. I think the rocks are a bit messed up, but yes. There you go. Wow. 800 miles. Hooray, Largo. Cut captain. Yay. Yay. All right. On to 900. Now it's like 99.9 .9 miles to the next marker. No kidding. <laughs> All right, so we have 0.1 until the next water source, which is the original water source that we were trying to get to. Um, I'm so grateful for that, the water that was left behind there. Um, I don't know who you are, but you might have saved our lives. And things that there's no real water between those locations. So it, uh, it came at the right time, at the right place, and we're now, Game to be able to be able to refill our water. And from this point forward, there's like water every like three miles or something like that, which in this heat, I think we'll stop at each one because we're putting it down like there's no tomorrow. And just to make it seem like we're not using too much water, I've maybe, and this is where it gets to TMI, but I've maybe urinated like once today, if that, so it's not necessarily being flushed out. My body's taken it. And so I'm so grateful at least that we got to make it this far because, well, I hate to see it cut short because of this heat. Just a temperature check right now. It is, it was 80, no, it was 89 degrees just a little bit ago. It's now jumped up to 91. So there is, yeah. You know, I'm not too disappointed by going slow today because, yeah, because <laughs> otherwise it's just no going. So it is what it is. And welcome there's to our water. water. It's cold. Is it cold? Yes. Nice. Is it running? Slightly. All right. You had non-running water? I have once, but I tend to steer away from those. I can only imagine. No kidding. We have finally arrived at water spot and that means lunch as well. This I, is, what? I'm Go enjoying ahead. this more. I'm enjoying I, it now that you have water. I'm enjoying, <laughs> no, I'm enjoying the food more. Um, before you pick, before I picked you guys up, I actually went to the outfitters and got something that I would rather eat. Right. And so I am eating good to go Thai curry it's actually really good. Um, I had most of it last night. I just, I couldn't muscle down putting down the entire packet of it last night. You had some of it. Yeah, and then you got, you have another one now. I'm having backpackers pantry stroganoff sauce, mushrooms and beef. It's pretty good. Um, and honestly, today has been quite a good day. I mean, it was a bit hot this morning, but now that we're kind of out of the sun, it's pretty good. Um, but I would say water, again, has been an issue. Just kind of getting reliable sources of water is just a bit of a pain. <laughs> but we have, at this point, six more miles to go. Is that right? Six miles? I think so, around there. And there's plenty of water between here and there. And, uh, and so we're going to... I don't know, it's what time is it now? It's three o'clock. So we should be there by... Mm, probably around five-ish? Five or six, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's the earliest you've been to a campsite. It is. We've been there, we've been there earlier, but that I was I feel like mostly, I'm holding you back. Ah, uh, no. That was <laughs> mostly when we were in our, in our earlier days. I also, we have to think about the age-old saying, what goes down must come up. It's the other way around, but technically, it's still true. And right now we're going down, and so tomorrow we have a total of six miles of up, which is going to be tough. We're going to be sitting at basically at the bottom of this little bowl that we're going to be in tonight, and that's going to be interesting. It's been a very difficult introduction to the AT, hasn't it? I, I feel like I've been I've been shanghaied and mm -hmm. said, okay, this is what it's like when it's really not. I mean, when you guys started, you guys started with like nine miles a day, ten in the cold. Where it's quite pleasant, 
Exactly. And now it's very hot. <laughs> it's, and it's exactly right now. 80. Oh, wait, no. I have 91. No, I have 91. You have 98? I have 98. Okay, one of us is wrong. I have 91.0. I hope it's not 98. <laughs> um, and so, but I'm surviving. I, I feel like I'm getting stronger every day. Just in time to go home and go back to the desk and start editing more. Exactly. But, you know, it's, it's funny because I, since I haven't actually done this, I mean, I've, done, I've gone camping a gazillion times. We've gone camping as a family. Yeah. And, and we've done some hikes for sure, but nothing like this where you carry your stuff out. And even on the Inca Trail in Peru, like you don't carry your own stuff. So when you're responsible for all of it, which you've been doing now for 800 miles, what's up with that? Um, it's, it's a totally different scenario, and I've never experienced that until now. And so when I'm editing the, and the videos, and when I'm watching you guys, you know, when I'm following you guys along on, on the Garmin, um, and I see you guys slowing down, I'm like, why are you slowing down? Go faster. What are you doing? Why are you going so slow? Exactly. exactly. I understand that now. And it's, and it's really just one of those things where you feel, I, you know, when you slow down, be like, oh, it must not be good. Instead of saying, <laughs> muscle up, what's wrong with you? <laughs> so No kidding. So this has been very, very insightful for me. This if, sure isn't the Inca Trail where they make us a cake at the end. Oh my gosh. I would kill for think that. think mom's going to bring us a cake? Hmm... I, I might actually text her and be like, hey, can you bring me a slice of cake? <laughs> <laughs> and other than that, let's, let's finish, finish this up food. and get back up and get going. All right, bye. So walking down the trail again, and I spot snake sighting two and a half, maybe? We have encountered some snake skin, which is slightly... Interesting, um, but that also means there's a snake in the area, so I don't want to stick around here longer. This has been one of our most kind of uh, snake sighted s snake sights um, in the entire trail. I have not seen this amount of either snake or snake residue, and I definitely think that maybe it's just because it's getting hotter. Maybe they're maybe they're desperate to get on the trail and maybe find some wind i'm not sure but this is definitely interesting and i honestly i'm kind of curious maybe this is just a very snake infested zone wow look at this these are the things this is so beautiful oh my gosh it's super wobbly <laughs> This is one of those things where you feel like it's like a magical fairy tale of hiking. And you get to see all this. It's saved only for the select few who get to section hike or through hike or live in Virginia. <laughs> so cool. So we are now approaching the last end of the day. We have 1.1 mile straight up. And it is basically 1.1 miles and we're going like 600 feet up. And then we're gonna end it. We're probably gonna end around 19.1 miles and then pass out. I'm really grateful though that we have all this extra light because otherwise we would be going in the dark now. So yeah, let's make this happen. And success. We made it before nine. Oh, it is 10 minutes to nine. Oh my gosh. We're here. 19.1 miles, Largo. Another 19 or? Another, my first one. How many do we? Yes, it was eight, well, I guess 18, 19 with the with the with, with the, the extension with the bonus the, smile. The, going the wrong way. Um, All right, let's, but, set, yeah. let's set up a tent. Let's have a tent. Yeah.
It's almost dark. Woo! And I felt about 0 .01 inches of rain, which is amazing. Did Here. you really? Yeah. yeah. Why would you feel that? That could be just water falling off of a tree. Or it could be just sweat coming off of your brow. Or, or it could be that. Or it could be that. This is the end of day 74. It's actually the start of day 75. <laughs> Sorry, we slept. We got, we got to the campsite. We got here. And Largo and Captain decided that he wanted to make a meal at like 9 o'clock at night. And... Then we just started talking and we passed out and I'm sorry, but it is, it was a long day. We went 19 miles and I would honestly say it all went pretty well. <sighs> like it started raining just slightly as we were coming into camp, but that honestly felt nice. It was nice. It was, I can't believe I hit 19.1 miles. Yeah. Crazy. Uh, it is crazy, but we did it. I'm feeling stronger every single day. Exactly. And then today, well, today, I mean, today. tomorrow's vlog is going to be something different. But um, what would you say was your best part of the day? My best part of the day was that I didn't feel so awful like I did the day before, without question. Um, yeah. You? Um, I don't know. I, I kind of enjoyed being near a lake again. It was kind of nice. We walked along a very nice looking lake uh, for the le last few hours of the hike, and it was quite nice. Yeah, and then any worse for the day? Not really. No. No. It wasn't bad at all. No. My 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 worst was when we hit that shelter at sixty point five. And then you said, let's keep going. I was like, uh. <laughs> but we did it. So that's almost like a best, too. Yeah. <laughs> All right. With that, we got to get out of here. Um, so with that, that is going to be the end of day 74. We will see you in day 75. Bye. Bye. All right. So we made it to the top of Bluff Mountain. And... It is now officially 10.51 in the morning. I remember 10.51 in the morning yesterday and we were at like eight miles and uh, maybe a little more. Today we're like four, maybe a little bit more. And is it worth it? Yeah, I think so.